Welcome to the CFM Fish Off Season 3. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, this might be the record. Sauger, yeah! Huh. Yeah! Oh, good my job, God. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this hooked up? 13 and a quarter inch. Whoa! Hopefully we can hook one up. This year, we have four teams representing four provinces. From Ontario, we have the 2019 CFM Fish Off Tournament Champions, Team Drag Pullers, with Mitch Zanali and Brandon Kadotsky. From Alberta, we have Team Rock Hard Angler, with Trina and Jared and the rest of the Little John family. From Saskatchewan, we have the Sass Fish Hunters, with Bill and Dalton Landry. Last but not least, from British Columbia, we have the Pike Middle Gang with Conway Red and Malcolm Sutton. The goal of the CFN Fish Shop is to try to catch as many species as possible. The longest fish in each species gets you four points, and the smallest fish gets you one point. The team with the most points after the five-week competition is crowned the CFN Fish Off Champion. And on behalf of the Canadian Fishing Network, the winning team gets to donate $500 to the charity of their choice. Now let's check out the action of week one. We are the Little John family, and we are Team Rock Hard Anglin. And we're super excited to be doing the CFN Season 3 Fish Off. I'm Belle Little John, the youngest member of the Rock Hard Anglin team, and when I'm not slaying them, I'm riding horses. Nice. I'm the mama bear of the team, Trina Little John. Uh, basically, when I'm not fishing, I enjoy camping in the outdoors and being with my family. Uh, I'm Slayton Little John. Um, when I'm not slated, I'm Caden, and I'm hanging with friends, and I really enjoy scootering. And I'm Jared Littlejohn, um, and when I'm not fishing, I'm Let, hanging out kidding? with the family. Who's kidding? He's always yeah, fishing. Always fishing. <laughs> uh, me and Trina and the family here, we're also the owners of Adventure Ice Fishing Ice Hut Rentals. Uh, we've been renting ice huts overnights and daytimes on Gull Lake for the past 12 years. And we're also the co-owners of Rock Hard Tackle. So we all enjoy made, making lots of tackle with our um, partners, the Carly family. Uh, it's just a great family time and uh, a lot of fun. This is our fourth, it's kind of the Little John family tradition. Every year for the past four years this weekend, we come to Pigeon to just have the long weekend of camping and walleye fishing. And it just so happens that today, on the first day of the CFN3 Fish Off, is Jared and I's 16th wedding anniversary. So we made it this far. Oh, we did. So we're excited to get in the boat and get the show on the road. Oh, yeah, that was a good brunch oh, we yeah. just had. <laughs> Stuffed. Uh, yeah, Team Drag Pullers here. Brandon. Mitch. We just uh, finished a little late Saturday, no, Sunday morning brunch. Yeah, especially after uh, drinking the night before. Yeah. Bit hungover, but we're still good. Yeah, went out to a little Texas here in uh, Kingston last night. Did a little celebrating. It's the first time Mitch and I hung out since winning the uh, online fish off. Exactly. So uh, what are we doing today, Mitch? Where are we going? What are we fishing for? Well, I think our idea is to go back for uh, bowfin. We're going to try for gar. We're going to get some white bass and some white perch, hopefully. Yeah, it's a little breezy for the old Teddy today, but uh, we'll see what we can get from shore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can see our bump board here. Yeah, has some good use. Some use. <laughs> I'd take it out of my truck because it's dank like fish overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Got air in my truck with windows open now. We're just going to go back out fishing because that's what that's what we do. All right? Yeah. Um, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Team Sask Fish Hunter heading to town for bait. Gonna buy some bait line. And we're gonna try and head out this afternoon. Five o'clock is kickoff, but it's wet. So wet. The chances of us getting in the pool are slim to none. The river's up six feet, I think. 
So there's a good chance that where we want to sit is underwater. Every time you get these conditions, it's, uh, fishing is unreal. Well, wish me luck, folks. I am um, off to get some gear, and then I'm going to go get muddy. I'm supposed to be fishing today. That's gonna go. Everybody's gonna get a jump on us. We're gonna miss the first day unless I can get out today. But I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna attempt to go fishing, but it's not looking good. What's up guys, it's Carl Viff from Pike Minnow Gang. We are at the beautiful Pit Lake today. I have to use my phone because my partner Malcolm has a GoPro and another phone he can record me with, but I'm stuck using this. So it's gonna be difficult to film this way, but I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna switch my bait up because I don't think corn and a chick head mix well. Oh, fish! Fishy! Oh, yes! I wanted you! No way, guys! No way, guys! Okay, I didn't think we would catch this fish for this challenge. Okay, that's a female chub. I'll show you guys a close-up in a second. I was losing faith. On camera, we've caught a female chub and it's definitely over 8 inches, alright? So our Beautiful Shimano measuring tapes and stuff haven't arrived yet. Okay, we're just gonna count this pea mouth chub as nine inches, all right? The goal of the CFN Fish Off is to show just how accessible angling can be. So therefore, there are no gas powered boats or motors allowed in our competition. However, the use of canoes, kayaks, and inflatables can be used in this tournament. Uh, it's a beautiful day out on Lake Opiongo in Algonquin Park. We're uh, steel lining for some lake trout today. But uh, so far, no bites. Wise man once said, bad day of fishing is always better than a great day at work. Put a fish on, folks! is done folks. Nice little acre. Oh yeah. There you have it, folks, team drag pullers, a little lake trip. Let's clear off this bump board, get a measurement. We're gonna release this guy right into the frying pan. Season three. Look at that, he's coming in right at 20. 20 on the dot. got our laker out of the way we're gonna uh, try for a little bit of burbot here at dusk so using a simple burbot rig which is basically just a uh, Glenn Thompson glow spoon with a uh, tip of the minnow and a stinger hook for good luck so go ahead and uh, shine that up with the old flashlight there give her a little go and you know, probably the ling just love it so it's like a little glowing gift of free food falling from the sky so let's give her a shot see what happens Charged up, get ready to throw down for a burbot. Pretty 
trail fishing right here, folks. So, it's quarter to two in the morning. I just paddled myself halfway across Lake Opiongo. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Battery died. Whew, my arms feel like jello. But, I made it safe. Cheers. Don't be an idiot like I was. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, Canada. Sass Fish Hunters here with our first walleye of the evening. Um, we'll get a quick measurement on here. 20 and a quarter. Rob, you want to get in close there and get the, the nose and the tail. Yep, make sure we got, see there, 20 and a quarter. Perfect. Let's get a good quick release of this guy. Back. I'll just explain what we got going on here. We're on the North Saskatchewan River. We did make it, as you can see. I rolled up my pants. We, we got wet literally above our knees. But if Rob will pan over, uh, hopefully the camera can pick up. We've got a, a little creek here, meets the North Saskatchewan River, and there's a water line of dirty water to clean water. And literally, I had my line in maybe a minute. Yeah, like a minute, and I and I got that 20 and a quarter inch wall, my first, very first fish. So uh, we're filming here today for a CFN Fish Off season three. Uh, which is going to be on the Sportsman's Channel and the World Fishing Network. CFN Fish Off, Season 3. Boy Perch here. It's coming in just over 8. Go in drag colors. Just got another white perch. This guy just like to swim around. This guy from the measures. That's just over eight and a half. Sweet. The cool thing about the CFN fish off is that if you take a kid fishing, whether it's your own or someone else's, the fish they catch and the points attributed to that catch go towards your own. It's a, it's a nice day, finally cleared up for us here on Pigeon Lake. You know, it's a beautiful lake and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Hi guys, it's Trina with Team Rock Hard Angling. I just got this beauty walleye measuring in at 22 and a half. Yay! Yes, Alberta gold right here, baby. That's a really nice fish. Kate's got a nice one here. Yeah. Kate's got a real nice one. 20 and a half. Oh, so that yeah. is gonna move us up. 53. So, CFM Fish Off Season 3, Team Rock Hard Angling. What a surprise, guys. It's swaying and it's hooked up. Kate's got one. How's it look? Do you need a net? Snapper? No, I don't know that on this one. It's just a little yeah. guy. But hey, they're still falling. Okay. You need to take it down 20, no, Oh, mom's, mom's meat and slayed in. Now here's your tailgate tip of the week. Hey, it's Mitch here from Team Drag Pullers. Here with another tailgate tip of the week. I'm here to talk about bait feeder reels and how they're a very important part to your fishing arsenal, especially if you're doing live bait rigs, cut bait rigs, and you're fishing for catfish, carp, bowfin. Uh, we've caught gar on this exact same rig this season. Um, the reel itself is, is important because uh, in addition to your main fighting drag, you also have your micro drag. And so what the micro drag allows for um, is the fish to not feel any resistance when it is pulling the line. So it's a very, very low, low uh, tension drag. And the advantage of this uh, from when fishing uh, these types of rigs 
is that typically on spinning reels, you'll set the drag very loose. And when you do that, and then you have a fish on, uh, you know, you don't know when, where you need to put it back again so you can fight the fish properly. Here with the micro drag, as soon as you, you cast out and you engage uh, the, the micro drag itself, um, it'll, it'll pull as such, but then you just have to engage on the reel and then you're back to business here with your main fighting drag. So it's very handy to, to use for these types of rigs and to catch a lot more fish. <laughs> here to demonstrate, I'll just make a quick cast out. Okay, so I'll reel in my line, okay, take away this loose line, and when I feel that it's okay, and this is where I want my bait to sit, I'll engage my micro drag, okay? So now, if a fish starts to take it, you'll see this exact stuff, uh, the exact same stuff right here. So it'll take it, I'll wait a bit, maybe like five seconds, okay? And then in three, two, one, I'll engage, Oh, <laughs> and we have a fish on here. <laughs> so now I got my main drag. See, so I'm able to fight it properly. Okay, it's a big one. Feels like a big one. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. There you go. Get the fish, take the photo, toss them back. <laughs> Camera shy. Didn't like us. Keep coming in here and scaring the fish though, that big old beaver. Oh, there he is. Gonna crawl right up on the bank. Yeah, not that camera shy. Of, uh, oh, look, he's just barely hooked. This is definitely an upgrade. Oh, don't get off, buddy. Don't get off. This is definitely an upgrade. Got a nice walleye here. Nice quick measurement on this guy and get him back in the water. Okay. Just give me two seconds, buddy. Yeah, okay. right. almost 20, we'll say 24 and a quarter. He's over that, but yeah, we'll okay. get a quick release on this guy. Oh, and away he goes. Here we are. Another solo mission with dad. Um, really cool thing about my job is I get to travel all over Alberta. And I always keep my fishing gear in the truck with me. So if I get finished a job, I'm on my way home, I see a little creek or a river or something, I'm probably gonna hit that up and give it a go. Uh, today I came, traveled a lot of Alberta, good stretch, and across about five rivers and nothing but muddy, high, dirty water. So um, I'm gonna try this little creek on my way home. It's about the best condition I've seen today. It's got some nice browns in it. And um, yeah, hopefully we can hook one up here. Fun thing when you're fishing these little creeks like this, you gotta be super ninja, super stealth. Yeah, like, let's go, yeah. Man, I hope this recording, this guy's going crazy. Just smashed the spinner. Oh, pretty little brown, very big, feisty guy. Jared from Team Rock Hard Angling here. A little brown trout here. Just gonna get a quick measure on them. Perfect. Okay. Nose is at the end. Tail is at 12 and a half. 12 and a half inches. We'll go. Okay. So we got a measure on our brown trout here. Just letting him have a little drink. Oh, there you go. Supper. We've caught a pea mouth chub. I can set the camera back down and see what else we can catch. Caught the second fish, one of my favorites, this pike minnow gang. And here we have a little northern pike minnow. I'm pretty sure it's just over eight inches, so I'll show you guys that. Here. We have a little looks like just about eight inch and as we can see it is just below eight inches so it doesn't count I'll catch a bigger one I can no release want a chance to compete in the next CFN fish-off join our online tournament 
at CFN Fish Off on Facebook, and make sure you go to www.cfnfishoff.com to learn more. And remember, the CFN Fish Off now airs on the World Fishing Network as well as Sportsman Channel Canada. Well, he's 12 inches for sure, but. Ooh, that's two, that's two species. <laughs> it's gonna be a six species day, folks. Okay, I'll be quick as I can here. Don't. Okay, so we just got a little guy here at, uh, we got a 14 and a half. You got her? Yeah, okay. I think we got an upgrade on a goal by here. My first one was 14 and a quarter. Good on the nose. So we got 17 inch right on the pin. CFN fish off, we might have another upgrade here. Oh yeah, we do. We got another upgrade on the gold eye. Get in there, huh? Yeah, you got her, bud. Yeah. 18 and a half on the nose. Yeah. There we go, we got another increase. Inch and a half upgrade from the last gold eye. And I'm going for a 21 inch tonight. Right. Um, it's 7.30 in the morning, just decided to pick up some Tim Horton, some breakfast, just out very close here in Kingston to meet up with Luke Northmore, the limestone city angler, and yeah, it should be just to meet him there for eight, so I'll be on my way. Met up with Brandon Kadowski last night, and he struck out when on his uh, ling adventure. So kind of sucks, but we'll get we'll get a carp for sure. And I believe he's going for some potential bass and or, or white perch and white bass. So he's doing a multi-species run today. For me, it'll be carp and. Possibly a slight chance of bofin. All right. See you guys soon. Excited? Fishing? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Luke, for doing that. No problem. Alright, CFN Fish Off Season 3. Here we go. It was a big carp. Let's get a nice measurement on this fish. Alright, here we go. For a measure nap. 30, 33 and a half. So this is for uh, Team Drag Pullers. <laughs> That's a team name. And yeah. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> Luke. Limestone City Angler, and we're actually in the oldest lock system of Canada. It's a great experience, good times. Uh, learned a lot, a lot of carp stuff, carp fishing knowledge from, from Luke. He's a great guy for that information. Um, it's a beautiful area, beautiful spot for fishing. Uh, hopefully, you guys can check it out too if you're ever around here. And I'd like to say thank you. No problem, man. Glad, <laughs> glad you came down. Yeah, thank you for the invite. No problem. <laughs> All right. Cool. This is what you call a defeat video. I've been fishing down here in this beautiful spot for a couple hours now. Lost about four lures so far and no bites. You know, that's fishing. That's, that's what happens sometimes and it kind of sucks because it's a long walk back up there and the steep one but uh, trying for a big laker today or maybe even a big bull trout uh, I'm gonna throw this big shad here a few more times and see what happens yeah that's it win some you lose some nothing today but worth a try I got to check out a spot I've never fished before and I'll definitely be back and uh, that's it, keep on fishing on.
Jared here, Team Rock Hard Angling. Got a gold eye. Okay, it goes at the end. Tail is at 13, 13 and a half inches. Okay, Team Rock Hard Angling. Let him go. Pretty sure this is Moon Eye. Like he's got a little bit of gold in the top of his eye. The rest of it's pretty light. He's super light in color. And he is, well, he's about 13 and a quarter inches. Okay. Hopefully 13 inch and a quarter Moon Eye. The Canadian Fishing Network would like to thank all of its amazing sponsors. And a special shout out thank you to Handlebars Musky Lures for providing us the official CFN Fish Off bump board. I'll give you one more cast and then I'm gonna hammer him with the fly. Oh uh, yeah, confident in that cast, he should get a hit. Let's see. And nice and slow and should be now. There he is. Oh, that's a big sunfish. Oh, a big bat. No, it's a big, uh, well, let's see, this might beat his record. I gotta get the bump box ready here. We gotta, we got a big fall fish on. <sighs> okay. Let's not lose him. All right, this is fall fish coming in at. Look like 10 and a half. Well, the video will tell. Yeah. <laughs> A longer. The same, not the same. Ten and three quarter. Eleven. Uh, eleven. Eleven. I call that eleven. It's a better fall fish. All right, here we are with a nice looking fall fish. It's coming in on the bump board. That's uh, twelve and a half. How about that. Guys, guys, this has got to be the biggest pea mouth chub I have ever caught. Hooks right in the corner. Okay, we already have pea mouth chub crossed off, but I'll also measure this one just because why not? This is the biggest freaking pea mouth that I have ever caught, and they are very squirmy. Okay, he's there. You go. It looks like 10.25 to me. Heads right at the end. I can bring him even closer to the end too. There we go, just a bit over 10. Freaking big pea mouth. He's off to go. The school of fish left. There was way too many bugs, so I didn't get my over eight inch pike minnow, but next time. Here's another tailgate tip of the week. Made down here at the Red Deer River, and I'm gonna do some fly fishing here, okay? And what I like to do is I like to switch my leader up, my leader material. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie on some 10 pound fluorocarbon. I'll, I'll tie on probably about, I don't know, about four feet or five feet of this. And uh, yeah, that's what I like to do when um, fly fishing for multi species. 
Okay, we'll tie this up here, get down there, and see what we can get, because man, this past weekend, the other teams have really been slaying them. Like those drag pullers from Ontario, holy cow, they got lots of fish on the board. And uh, the SAS fish hunters, they got lots on the board. So uh, Team Rockhart's got some catching up to do. So to tie these two together, my leader and my fluorocarbon, just gonna do a good old surgeon's knot. Just like this. Just bring your tag ends through a couple times. Like so. Give that a wet. Pull it tight and bango. Now as I lose more of this, I can just keep tying it on. This day goes on, super strong. There we go. Okay, get down there and see what we can do. If you compete in our next online tournament, you could possibly win a spot on your very own TV show on the World Fishing Network, as well as Sportsman Channel Canada. Perch coming down on the boat board at right. eight and a quarter. Oh, we got something on here, folks. Oh, it's a big rock bass. Let's see. Quick measurement on the bump board. He is coming in at eight and a half. Yeah. CFN fish off season three, team drag pullers. Strikes again. Right on. You got something on there, I think. There, yeah, there's the fish. Get him. Get him out of those weeds. There's a big bass right there. Right there. Get that off, get that off. He's right up front right here, right here. Right in front of that weed patch, right there. Yep, bring it in. Hold it. Hold it. Set the hook. Set the hook. Oh yeah. Where's that bump board at? Let's land the fish first and we'll carry it to the bump board. Team drag puller strikes again. I'm gonna nice bucket mouth here. We're gonna grab that bump board and get a measurement on this guy. This uh, large mouth bass here. Team drag pullers coming in at uh, 15 and a half. <laughs> well, no, I might because you got the keys to the truck. Oh, I do so. You see, that's, see, you should always do that when you do crazy stuff to make sure your friend's going to save you. Keep the truck keys with you. It helps to be 35 miles in the bush when you do it. See, he's walking in the middle. I'm going to walk right through the deepest part. Yeah, but if I walk through the deepest part, my phone's wet. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just commentarying. Don't get angry at me. You know how the rivers change. So it's no longer 
longer like it was, but the premise is still the same. We still get the mud lines. We still get the clean water hitting the dirty water and we smash fish. Earlier today, I was complaining about the rain and uh, how much it had rained. Well, it rained enough that this hill slide, hillside let go and slid right down onto the road. Like literally came from way up there and slid right down to here. Mud slides in Saskatchewan. This isn't BC. Rob had to walk through up to our knees and a little deeper in some places. Well, hopefully we're done with the rain for a while and we can get some work done in the garden and get out fishing more. This was our fourth annual Pigeon Lake Walleye Slave Fest. We filled our tags, so we kept eight. That's how many tags we had. Cleaned them up, we had some awesome fish fries, and we had a lot of fun. Fortunately, we only caught one species. Um, that's just what there's a lot of in this lake, but uh, that's okay. We got time. We're gonna get out there and slay some more. So stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys later. Happy Canada Day. Alva from Team Pike Minnow Gang here to give an update that fishing has been absolutely terrible. If this rain stops and it gets better, and if either me or Malcolm, which is also in our team, gets to go somewhere else in BC, then we might get like a like a jump start. But right now we have one species. So since our native fish, most of them will give us four points, like we have an advantage. So I need to get out there, go saltwater fishing, because nobody has our saltwater fish. I need to go to some lakes, some rivers, get rainbow trout, coastal cutthroat trout. I hope we can really jump start back and catch up to the other teams. After week one of fishing, we had quite the battle. The Pike Minnow Gang targeted some nice fish, but we're only able to get a total of four points. The Sass Fish Hunters got some big catches, but was only able to earn eight total points. The Little Johns of Rock Hard Angling had some fun times on the water and earned a total of 18 points. And the Drag Pullers have come out on top, accumulating a total of 28 points. Here's a sneak peek into the next episode. Oh my god! Oh dang, we were right! Oh my god! I saw what I thought was a cougar. Hedging, hedging. You understand guys, this is the best day of my life. The CFM Fish Shop would like to thank all of our wicked sponsors. Handle Bars Musky Wars. Ugly Boy Baits. Sid Fishes Jigs. MFS Fishing Tackle. Bait and Bite Me. Bad Habit Baits. Rise Outdoor Apparel. Accessible Angling, Blind Rage Baits, Next Gen Baits, Got to Bite Fishing Tackle, Sanderson Outdoors, Best Lure Company, Wanda Flies, Impact Baits, Nick's Hand Tied Panfish Jigs, Fish Whipped Apparel, Creek Candy Bead Company, Camp Macintosh, Meigs Lures, C4 Lures, Horwood Lake Lodge, River Reaper Fishing Tank, Jabba the Ice Huts, Shimano, and of course, Bait to Go Outdoor Flavors. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for next week for episode two. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.